Good afternoon, yogis. I'm Carly, and this is Wendell, and we are here in Catavina, Baja, California. So we've been traveling and Wendell has been driving a whole lot. So this yoga practice is tailored to him, um, opening up the hips, the shoulders, the back, uh, just lengthening everything out and bringing some movement to things that have been pretty still. Okay, so we will find ourselves, Mr. Wendell, on our back. So lower yourself down onto your back so you align supine. And as you come to your back, we will open up our knees wide and bring the, pop, the soles of our feet to touch. Excellent. And um, let your arms lay along next to your body. And breathe in here. And exhale and find release. sun on your face. Hope that the sunscreen is doing its job. Feel the sharp edge of your feet in contact with the ground. Feel your shoulder blades make contact with the ground. Push into those two contact points to lift your hips off of the ground. Lifting your hips into the air, keeping your knees wide for one, two, three, four, and lowering back down. Exhale, release the knees a little lower. Inhale, push again, lift the hips, keep the knees wide for one, can you go a little higher? Three, four, five, and release. Exhale. Notice when it's opened. You're gonna do it one more time. So inhale, press into your feet and your shoulders to lift your hips. Three, two, one and release everything else. Now use your hands to lift your knees up towards the center, bring the soles of your feet to the ground and pull your knees into your chest. Give a nice big hug, bring your nose to your knees, maybe kiss them and let your head fall back down. Keep your knees in and start drawing circles your knees to wake up your hips. Good. Let your left leg fall long. Bring your right knee in to your chest. And switch. Bring your left knee in. Let your right leg fall long. Bring movement into your knee and your hip and switch again. Maybe bring that knee out to the side. Find some movement in that hip joint. It's a ball joint, so it's made to go in every direction. So bring that in. Switch, do the same thing with that other knee, open up that hip, pull it over to the left, excellent. Now bring that ankle above your knee onto your thigh, let that knee fall open. Bend your right knee, pull that knee into your chest, recline the pigeon, if you can only grab the back of your thigh, do that and grab your shin, pull that in. Now see if you can 
push that left knee away from you a little more. You find movement side to side. If not, just stay here and breathe. Try to straighten that right leg. That looks fair. So, okay, right foot comes to the mat. You can bring your left foot down too. And you're actually going to drop your knees over to your left. Both knees are bent. Close your feet on the ground. Breathe in up through center and exhale down to the other side. We're going to get more dynamic movements here in the beginning to wake everything up. Good. Let that left leg fall long. Right ankle comes on top of the left thigh. Let that knee fall open, just like we were in our reclined butterfly. Bend that left knee. Left foot comes to the mat and reach your hands through and around to your thigh or to your shin. Pull it in towards your chest. Push your right knee away from your face. Rock side to side. I was just feeling good. Maybe you straighten that left leg. If you did it before. And exhale, left foot mat, right foot down to the mat, and we windshield wiper again. Okay, lengthen out your legs, roll over onto one side, and push yourself up into sitting. Excellent. And from here, uh -huh. so you're going to bring your legs into what looks like a swastika. So right shin is going to be parallel with the bottom of your mat and your hip is going to be straight in line with your body. Left shin becomes parallel with the side of your mat, thigh is sticking straight out. It's not up high, it's not down low, and so it's a little something like this. Bring your hands behind you to kind of right in the middle. Lean yourself back, bending your elbows, fingertips are facing your body. And you're not coming to the side, but you're kind of coming, bringing length forward, up and then. So you should be feeling it anywhere, really. <laughs> I feel it in my right. If you feel you can go deeper, you can come down onto your elbows. Breathe in here. Uh, and go deeper on the exhale. You feel this? Push back into your hands, come off, off your elbows if you were there, and stabilize so you can lift the right knee up. And you might be able to just totally pivot, keeping your heels in the same spot. Your right shin is now parallel with your, the side of your mat, your left shin is parallel with the bottom of your mat. And br walk your hands a little over to the left behind you and lower straight back from here. Coming onto your elbows if that feels good. You may notice one side's a little tighter than the other. That's okay, just notice. If you need to stay up higher on your hands here, just notice that. Come 
back up onto your hands. Push your upper body up again. All right. You can lengthen out your legs, shake them out a little bit. Very good. So bend your knees in to one side and we're going to place your hands closer to the top of your mat or the bottom, wherever you are. We are in tabletop and we're going through some cat and cows. Inhale, lift your head, drop your belly, lift your spine, exhale, tuck the cat. Move with your breath, inhale, exhale. Mm -hmm. Bringing air and blood flow in between all the vertebrae. Find any organic movements that feel right. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Oops. Inhale. We're going in to thread the needle. So plant your left hand, reach your right hand to the sky. Exhale, thread it through, drop the right ear and shoulder to the mat. <sighs> With every exhale, push a little deeper into the twist. <sighs> Trying to look up towards the sky. Press into your left hand next to your face, raise your right arm up. And exhale, plant your right hand. Inhale, your left arm up. Exhale, thread it on through. Oh. hand inhale your left hand up to the sky and exhale back on down um, knees are under your hips keep them there walk your hands forward into puppy pose heart melts towards the mat chin comes to the mat arms are long bring your forehead down and if this feels good and you'd like to go deeper bring your hands to touch and your thumb to your neck, the back of your neck. Release the hands down to the mat. Push your hips forward. Here now. Opening our chest open into Sphinx Pose. <laughs> We're in the desert, so we really have to protect from the sun. Okay, from here, bring your hands next to your ribs, push back up into tabletop. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. This is our runner's lunge lizard pose and find movement in your hips here. So we'll move them back and forth. Excellent. You may want to lower down onto your elbows. Push your right hand into your knee to push it away from your body. You can look over your right leg to look at your back foot. Not that you can probably see it. Bring your hands to the mat and bring that right foot on back into table pose. Wide-legged child pose. Knees come out to the sides of the mat. Push your hips back. Inhale back up to tabletop and step your left foot forward on the outside. You can come down to your elbows if this feels good. Use your left hand to push your left knee away. Mm. 
Inhale, find length in your spine. Exhale, sink a little deeper into your hips. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Step your left foot back and child's pose. Push back. Inhale into tabletop. Tuck your toes under. Lift your knees off the mat. Hold, hover here for one, two, three, four, five. Push your hips up and back down on facing dog. Find length in your legs, length in your back, length in your arms. Push your shoulders away from your ears and bring your chest towards your knees. Pedal out your dog. Lengthen mm -hmm. out your spine. Find a wave in your spine. Curl as though you were doing cat pose. Keep your legs where they are and wave all the way up to your head to push back into downward dog. Do another wave in your spine. Downward dog. Now you can wave forward into plank and hold it here. Exhale slowly, keeping your elbows next to your ribs. You can drop all the way down Lift up just gently into cobra, baby cobra. Lift your hands off the mat. That's opening up your back, activating your back. And exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands plant to the mat. Come through to tabletop. Push, lift your knees, push your hips up into the sky. Good. Now walk slowly your feet to your hands, forward fold, bend your knees a lot or a little. Release your neck, let your head nod yes, shake your head no, sway your hips side to side, pedal out your knees, and roll vertebrae by vertebrae, one up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Hands through heart center, exhale. Let your left hand fall down your left thigh, right hand reaches towards the sky. Left high, drop your left hand down, and reach your right hand up and slide down the left. Side bend. Inhale up through center, right hand falls, left hand. No, you stay, you stay. You're in yoga right now. We are so cold. <laughs> oh man. both hands rise exhale cactus pose arch your back lift your chest elbows bend at your sides you can feel your upper abdomen activating inhale back up exhale cactus actually I think that's an inhale exhale up inhale exhale back up exhale forward fold swan dive Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, hands plant. Now step your right foot back, come up into a high lunge, crescent lunge. Exhale, drop the back heel into warrior two. We're going to do a reverse warrior. Drop your right hand, left hand reaches up. Inhale through center. Exhale, reach the left hand forward, 
until it can drop to the mat, right hand towards the sky. Open up your hip so that, yes, excellent. It's open to the left hand side. You can find a bind here if you'd like. And inhale, push into that left foot into warrior two. Reverse. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale, plant. Cartwheel your hands back down. Now you are in, your hands are planted, you're in a low lunge. Okay, step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Woo! Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open up to the side of the room. Drop your back heel. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Inhale through warrior two. Exhale, reach forward. Exhale, let your hand come to the mat. Left hand rises. Make sure your hips are open. You can find a bind. Exhale. Push into that right foot. Come up into warrior two. One more reverse. Inhale through warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down. Step your right foot back. We're going right down into a chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Open up your chest. Open. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice. Bring your knees to the mat. Wide legged ch child's pose. Push back. Hmm. Inhale through tabletop. <laughs> Bring your knees under your hips. Tuck your toes. We're into plank. Core is activated. Drop your heels both to the left. Support yourself with your left hand. Reach your right hand to the sky. Reach your hips up. What is that? Exhale, right hand to the mat. Heels fall to the right. You gotta get your planks, your side planks in every day. Keep your abdominals strong. Exhale, hands come to the mat, downward facing dog. Or child pose. <laughs> All right, inhale, bring your right foot to the top of the mat between your hands. Okay, I'm gonna do some fun stuff here. So bring your left foot forward just a little bit. And now we're going to um, straighten, bring a micro bend into the right knee, but lift that left foot off the ground. Can you lift your body off the ground as well, or your two hands are either down by your sides. What did I say? Oh, warrior three. Hands can be in prayer pose. They can be extended for level up. tripod lift your left leg high into the sky standing split mm -hmm. and exhale bring your left knee in keeping it bent to your right knee and we're going to kind of do a squat here keep your hands on that and then extend back up to split one more time bend and extend excellent bring that left foot back down Step your right foot back and child's pose. Woohoo, how's that? Good. Mm. And up through, through a tabletop. We're going to 
push back into downward facing dog and step your left foot to the top of the mat. Good. Bring your hands out a little farther in front of your foot so you can step your left foot in. Hover that leg as you uh, raise your torso for your three. Arms down by your side, prayer pose at your heart, or extend it forward. Anchor into all three corners of your foot. And hands come down to a tripod. Lift that right foot high into the sky. And bend the knee. We're doing that squat again. One, two, and three. Rise up. Now you can step your right foot back down slowly. Plant your hands. Step your left foot. So back, wide-legged child's pose. And now up to the tabletop. Lift your knees to the chest, down to the dog. Look between your hands. You can walk, step, or jump to the top of your mat. If you're jumping, you can push your toes, bend your knees. Doing great, Wendell. You are doing excellent. You can come into child's pose if you need to. <laughs> your knees look between your hands and jump your feet between your hands excellent forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale roll up hands above your head hands through heart center okay bring your weight onto your left foot come onto your right toes
control. Excellent. Find balance on your two feet. You can reach your hands out in front of you. Bend your elbows. Now wrap your right arm under your left. And if this is all you can do, stay here. If you can wrap your right palm to your left palm, go for it. Now lift your elbows away from the ground. Pull your hands away from your face. Now tuck your chin. Lift your left knee. Cross over your right. Wrap, if you can, your foot around your right calf. And sit. Keep your chest lifted. Elbows away from the ground away from your face. Keep a review on one spot that is not moving. Chest lifted. Unwrap your foot. Unwrap your leg. Bring your foot to the ground. Unwrap your arms. Excellent. High five your neighbor. <laughs> Bring your toes to the edges of your mat. Your heels are in a little. Now drop your booty down. Yogi squat. Oh yeah. Elbows to your knees, pushing open. Hands at heart center. Oh. your hands to the mat bring your hip your uh, heels out and straighten your legs you may want to widen your stance okay bring movement into your hips side to side and drop your head down release grab opposite elbows and hang Bring your hands to the mat and walk them over to your left foot, your nose towards your knee. Inhale your hands through to center. Exhale your hands to your right foot, nose to knee. Inhale, hands through center. Walk, toe heel your feet back in. Come through your yogi squat to lower yourself down onto your mat. Maybe one hand behind you. Maybe you just flop down. Legs are out long in front. Toes are flexed towards your face. Hands are flat on the ground next to your hips. Push into your hands, open your chest, lengthen your spine up tall. Dandasana. Inhale your hands above your head. Exhale, keep your spine as long as you can for as long as possible, bending at your hips over your thighs. You can bring your hands to your feet and we're going to just release here. Head falls heavy. If your knees are bent, that's okay. On every exhale, release further into the pose. your hands, up your legs, to bring your body upright again. Bring your hands next to your hips. You can bring your feet to 
the ground, scoot your hips forward a little bit, and slowly lower down along your spine into your final resting pose, Shavasana. Let your legs fall wide. Let your arms take up as much space as they need to. Melt into the earth. See how many points of contact you can make with the earth. Find your normal breathing. body settle. You are safe. You are taking care of your body. And the earth is taking care of you. closed.
born again into the next iteration of ourselves right now. cross-legged position. Long spine. We ground into the earth again. Notice anything that has shifted in your body, in your mind.